Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics in today's video. Well, I wanted to talk to you about my guppies, so stay tuned. Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics, your place for guppy love and more. Sharing the good, the bad, and the unexpected adventures of fish keeping. Let the show start in three, two, one. Enjoy! So I thought it would be a fun idea to go ahead and choose one specific guppy tank while talking to you about a particular topic. And in this video, I wanted to share with you the water conditions and water parameters that I keep in the fish room, along with sharing with you my favorite male guppy at the moment. So let me go ahead and show you that tank. When I first bought these, I was told they were true green cobra guppies and they are currently in a five gallon aquarium, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend. I didn't have as much trouble in the beginning with the 10 gallons and 20 longs getting them set up and established, but it has been about a year and a half and everything is doing great now. But in those first few months of setting up these five gallons, I did have frequent fluctuations and crashes in these smaller tanks. Typically, guppies love harder water. Whether talking about GH, general hardness, which measures magnesium and calcium in the water, or KH, carbonate hardness, which measures carbonates and bicarbonates. And this is the buffering capacity of water which is the ability to maintain a stable pH. Meaning the KH is the water's ability to buffer acids in the aquarium, working like a sponge to absorb and neutralize acids in the water without usually altering the pH. However, when this capacity to buffer is exhausted, the pH may change. This is why baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, and crushed coral is often used as buffers to affect the hardness of the water, slowly increasing the pH. Remember, this is recommended to do gradually. When dealing with the pH scale, it is important to know that six is not one time stronger than a seven on the scale, but actually 10 times more acidic than the neutral seven. A pH of a six is 100 times more acidic than a pH of an eight. And stay tuned, I'll test and show you where this guppy tank falls. Leave a comment. What water conditions and parameters work best for your fish? Let me know down below. Moving on to temperature, guppy fish are hardy and are able to withstand a vast range of temperatures. However, 72 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit I feel works best. Younger fry do great closer to 78 degrees, whereas adults I feel personally do best around 76 degrees Fahrenheit. The colder water guppies I've had in the past have done great. It's just their metabolism will decrease and their life cycle will slow, and it takes a little longer to reach maturity and to reproduce. However, the warmer temperatures will speed up the guppies' metabolism and their life cycle. And again, guppies are hardy and can thrive in many different ranges of environments. Just keep it as steady and as consistent as possible. There are numerous benefits to having live aquatic plants, especially for the water quality of your aquarium. And over the last handful of months, I've started to dabble in aquatic plants for the first time. Throughout the years, it's always been a topic I've been curious about, but mainly just had plastic decor. And I thought, why not finally give it a shot? And even though I know this plant doesn't look like it's in the best condition and has melted back, it was doing great and had actually completely taken over this five gallon tank. I tried carefully to split it not too long ago and added that half to another tank. And I have been using fertilizer tabs and I recently ordered Easy Green from Aquarium Co-op for the first time and it is really beginning to make a huge difference. And even though I do know I have a learning curve on growing and propagating plants properly, I'm excited to continue to learn and try for the health of the guppies and the other fish and to continue to share with you how it goes. With guppies, like all other fish in the hobby, they need good water quality to thrive regardless of how hardy the species is. And doing proper water changes is important for their health and well-being. 
I do water changes about 20% every Sunday. I do gravel back, but it's never completely clear of all the debris because of how small this aquarium is. My favorite products that I'm currently adding to the fish room water before water changes are done is Prime, Stress Coat every couple of water changes, and of course Easy Green, which is dosed as directed into each aquarium just after they are refilled. And just to give you a baseline of where the water for the fish room runs fresh out of the tap, the nitrates and nitrites are both in the safe zone. The total hardness GH is reading hard at least 150 parts per million. The total alkalinity KH is falling in the ideal zone, but it is falling on the high side of ideal. And the pH is looking like it's falling between 7.2 to 7.8. On a side note, these are the test strips I've always used to give myself a roundabout of where these aquariums are running. There are all kinds of test strips on the market starting at different price points and skill levels. It's crucial no matter which test you choose to use, it's just important that you find one that works for you and you know the water parameters for the health and benefit of the fish you choose to keep. I also do allow this treated water to sit for at least a day before I use it. Before water changing this aquarium, according to these test strips, nitrates are testing higher but still in the safe zone. Nitrites are also testing safe. Total hardness GH is reading very hard. Total alkalinity KH is slightly raised. And the pH is testing higher 7.8 to 8.4. And these elevated levels of hardness and pH are possibly due to the substrate I use paver sand which I do pick up from Lowe's and this sand does have an added calcium carbonate which aids with the sand not washing away nearly as bad when used outside. This with a little bit of crushed coral and the fluval stratum is what is used as a substrate in this tank. Like, subscribe, and double check that notification bell is clicked. Until next time, see you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.